Okay, so that's pretty much where we uh, kind of left the build in last day, uh, in stage two. So pretty much now we're just going to kind of move on to the section of the build where we had all these four like really bands, and this is going to kind of really start to uh, really firm up all the uh, fusion lines because at the minute we're still really, uh, <coughs> really flexible, really weak. Like I say, so hopefully that will kind of stiff things up a bit. So we get these uh, these strips, these are two millimetre by two millimetre in the 300 mil long. And we get four of them. And we've got these, uh, this section long here. And we've got a section on either side. And then two on the bottom as well. So one of the first things I want to do is I just want to kind of like firm it up a little bit by just pulling one in. So the idea is we've kind of got to feed it. They show you to, on the instructions, we've kind of feed it all the way across. And let's try that, see if that works. So it all depends on how self tight that hole is. Yeah, so I'm going to try this one. I'm just going to feed it into there first. Because all you have to do is obviously have a little bit of this, uh, this sticking out the back. I'm going to go into this hole and kind of go all the way along. So now I've got this one, I can kind of just bend it into there and just feed it into that hole. All I'm going to do with this one for a minute is just leave that just a bit of a temporary like space, just to kind of space it all up a little bit. Okay, so now we'll add this, uh, this one to the forward face. Same again, so number one needs two by two. Just going to feed it into there, feed it across, and just twist it so it goes into this face. Okay, so I'm just going to just leave it like that now, I'm not going to put any just glue just quite yet. Okay, so what I've noticed, we've got kind of a bit of a slot for these, this jig, I mean, how these parts fit into this jig. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a couple of plastic bands, just put some under the bottom of the, uh, the jig, and then just lift it on across. Now I'm just going to pull that down a little bit tighter. So I'm going to go down to the tail section. So again, these are all a little bit not quite lined up, so I'm just going to take another elastic band, put it on the side, turn it around, just drop one on this side, and then drop one directly on the tail. Put it over there. And that's just going to kind of hold everything just slightly in line a little bit better and everything just a bit tighter down towards the uh, all the frames. Okay, so now we can kind of get this, this first one glued up. I'm just going to take it back out of, the, uh, out of there, just reveal all the uh, glue slots. I'm just going to take some more wood glue like I did before. So I'm not going to put any glue into this uh, this metal section at the front, and then I'm going to put a little bit. I'm not going to put any, super glue, any glue on these ones either because I'm actually going to super glue them two down. So I'm going to start putting the glue, wood glue, from the uh, L2 all the way down to F10. Fill in these wells. Generous amount of wood glue. We clean it all off after. And then the last bit. We don't put any of this part because this is just the, uh, the jig. So now I'm going to start to feed them back in again. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is take a moist paintbrush and just take off a little bit of this excess glue. Okay, so I've got some of these mini pegs. And I'm just going to start to uh, just peg these little sections in. I'm just going to have these pegs all the way from F9 all the way up to L2. Okay, 
Okay, so this black section is quite tight to get a little clamp in. So what I'm going to do is a little peg so I've got, a, got these spring clamps. So what I've done is I've just glued a little piece of material either side. So now this can act as a quite a nice uh, clamp that's going to go on this F9. And I'll hold that one while the glue dries. Okay, so I don't need wood glue this old one. That's the reason. I'm just going to super glue this section in because it's got a little bit of spring on it, so I'm kind of just going to super glue it down. So first of all, I'm just going to get the little square in. Just get that in there, just make sure that's nice and nice and level. And I'm just going to push this, push this one back, pull a little bit of super glue just down the joint. And I'm going to square up the part again. I'm just going to push and hold them two parts together. Okay, so I'll just clean that section. We can just do exactly the same on this one. The same again, just kind of peel this one back a touch. Paint some glue in all these slots that I did a second ago. What I've realised, I can actually get a clamp onto this section here, so I'm actually going to wood glue it because I also think it's a lot nicer, a lot nicer hold. See, so I can kind of bend this one back into there, shoot that one through the hole. Sure that you clamp it directly across that bulkhead and then just kind of go down. Moist paintbrush, take off the excess and then get a clamp. Not the greatest clamps in the world, these little peg ones, but they does enough just to kind of get a little bit of pressure that we need. So let's get all of these nice and tight. Okay, so like I say, this one, make sure it's square. Put a little square in, and then actually, this time I can actually get a little clamp in. So, I've got a number of these little jaw clamps, but this time I've only actually got one, one part of it, a little piece of material to go to the top. And all you need is just enough to just clamp it down, just press it, pressing it against this uh, bulkhead. Okay, so that's the first. Top two uh, rails glued in. 